Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Once again, my name is Brandon. I'm an acting coach. And today I'm going to do something that I usually avoid. Now, those of you out there who watch, by the way, I make reaction content here on YouTube. I have a couple of channels. I do music reactions on this one. I do t TV and film on another. And I just started a gaming channel where I'm going through a plague tale right now. We'll be going through Final Fantasy Rebirth when it comes out. Sorry, I'm not feeling great. And I'm still kind of out of breath, just still not at top of my game. So please forgive me. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that in doing these music reactions, I've often avoided doing certain covers because of the weight and gravity of the song. I don't know if you guys have been here before. If you have, you'll know this. If you haven't, I really do try to stay positive on this channel. For instance, if I record a music reaction and I couldn't find at least as many good things to say about it as I could find critiques, then I just won't post it. I really don't believe that it's my place. Art is subjective. If if you love an artist, you love a performance, it's not my place or anybody else's to come along and try to tell you that it's garbage or that it's not any good or just, you know, it's not my place. I don't feel like that's right. It's really it's incredibly difficult to find any kind of success as any kind of performance artist. It's incredibly difficult to write a song, to write a film, to act, to direct, to do all these things. It's, it's so hard and it's not my place, I don't feel like, or anybody's to come along and criticize someone for their art without being able to offer something of value as something positive at the same time. So I, 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 I have some rules about that. And one of them is I tend to avoid covers that are of songs that I have an incredibly high opinion of or that I feel are incredibly difficult to do well. And this is one of those songs. Today are we, we are watching a cover of the song Father that was originated by Demi Lovato. Beautiful song, very, very emotional song and performed very well by Miss Lovato. I mean, she, she, is, she is an incredibly dynamic performer. And I think that it's unfair most of the time to judge another artist based on their cover of this song when I have such a high opinion of the original and of how the original artist performs it. That being said, today I am watching a cover of this song by a very young artist named Emma Koch. Now, I don't know how old she is in this video. The last video I watched of hers, I believe she was only 15, but she really blew me away. So for those of you out there who are Emma Koch fans, if this gets posted, Please know that the fact that I'm even doing this reaction is a massive indicator of how much I respect Ms. Koch's performance ability. Not not really not just her vocals. The vocals are one thing, but for a song like this, if I don't feel like an artist has the emotional maturity and depth and wherewithal, like uh, awareness to really deliver this song in a powerful way, I won't even touch the reaction. I won't even attempt it. So the fact that I'm even sitting down to record this says a lot about how much I admire Emma's ability to communicate physically through body language, facial expression, just just a full body performance from the songs that I've seen her do, and I've only seen her do two. That's a huge, huge compliment. So I want to say that off rip. What I'll say next is if I do have any critiques, please know that one, I'm often just giving critiques for those who are watching this channel who are aspiring performers in one way or another, whether it's acting or singing or whatever. There are oftentimes things that I see people do who are very established performers or who are very talented performers that I think are not good practice. Whether or not it works for the artist in front of me is a different story, but it's not necessarily good practice, especially if you're trying to establish yourself or trying to grow an audience as a relatively unknown performer, as I'm sure I get coming across this channel from time to time. So not every critique that I give is an insult to the artist. In fact, most of them are not. And then secondly, I'm going to have to ask you to bear with me because I don't know what's going to happen here. And if I do have a critique, it's going to be coming from a place of respect and it's going to be coming from a, a spirit of generosity, not condemnation, not judgment. I'm not trying to belittle any of these artists. If I do offer a critique, it's always from the perspective of this person is great. Here is something I think could make this performance a little bit better, or here is a space where I see this artist has room to grow. And if you don't think Emma has any room to grow at all, that she's absolutely perfect and never makes any mistakes, that would be amazing. Personally, I don't think that's true of anybody on the planet. And I don't think that Miss Coke would probably say that about herself. I don't think even the best performers on the planet, the most established, 
would say that about themselves. I, I don't think that people, even in this in this space of people like Celine Dion or Kelly Clarkson or Laura Fabian or Flor Jansen or Aurora, none of them would say that they are perfect at everything and that they never make mistakes. So let's come at this from a position of kindness and grace and hopefully everything will be amazing and I'll have nothing but wonderful things to say. But I do consciously look for things that I can point out that maybe could have been done better or spaces where an artist has room to grow. This is something I do intentionally. This is a reaction, quote, commentary, quote, critique channel. That's what I'm here to do. So please don't take offense. I already have an incredibly high opinion of Emma. I, I know that her story is incredibly inspiring. I think that she's a remarkable talent. And I think that her ability to communicate emotion and to illustrate a narrative with her body, her face, using different colors and tones and, and different tools in her voice. I think it's immaculate and already so far beyond her years. So know that I'm coming at it with that level of respect. Without further ado, I'm going to jump into this. Bite the bullet. This is Father, a Demi Lovato cover by Emma Koch. And here we go. a wonderful setting for this. Wow, okay. So before she even gets into the next bit, already I'm impressed. So I have positive things right off the bat. There is a authenticity to the way that she conducts herself on a stage. And I've seen it before, but it can be fluky, right? You can see that. And it can be an artist just particularly relates to a certain song or was having a certain kind of day and was able to tap into something. It can be a fluke. And Emma, I'm now convinced at this point, third time, it's, you know, two points make a line. Three points make a pattern. I, I I see this in her now even more fully than in some of the other performances I've watched than, than one of them. The way she carries her body, the way she moves her arms, her expressions, the the look on her face, the the occasionally speech like quality that she uses in the way she hits the phrases and the way she sort of decides to deliver individual words. All of these things for me are signs of somebody who is communicating the narrative of the song in such a way that it is holistic. It's 100% being done by her entire being. Mind, body, she's completely in it mentally. She's focused. She's telling a story. She's prepared. She knows what the words mean. She knows what the song means to her. She is delivering these things as though she is having an intimate conversation between her and whomever it is that she's either picturing in her mind or that the song is addressing. But just her hand alone, the way she's using her right hand, is incredibly mature and genuine. And adding to that, just little bits, when she decides to take a word and instead of holding out the note and keeping this nice legato phrase, uh, she she will take a couple of these words. There's been a couple of times, at least once in this early bit, where at the end of the phrase, the last word is almost spoken. It's still on pitch. It's still being sung, but it just ends the way you would end a word if you were speaking in a sentence. It doesn't carry out in this long legato, very pretty melodic line. It just ends. And she's doing it very, what's the word? She's doing it very intentionally. It's, it's, it's either planned really well or just being done with incredible instincts with a very, very keen eye and ear 
and sort of awareness of the meaning behind the song, what these words mean, how much they weigh, what their weight is, how important each of these phrases are, and where to put the emphasis. She's doing a remarkable job, and I'm trying to keep it clean and clinical, but I'm kind of getting excited because she's really kind of breaking my heart, and she's doing it in a way that I honestly did not think was possible in a girl her age. This is next level, next level communication, performance from someone who is so very young, so very young. And I cover lots of young performers and they're all wonderful and they all do an incredible job. Some of them are absolutely remarkable. Angelica Hale, Angelina Jordan, just to name a couple, just absolutely remarkable young performers. But at this one specific thing, this young lady is giving me things that I didn't think were possible in a 15, 16 year old child. And I'm I'm so happy about that because that means that I think I'm going to be able to post this with a ton of praise and a ton of acknowledgement of her talents and her ability. And I'm not saying I won't have a critique at some point in the rest of this song, but there will be way more positive things for me to say uh, than anything that I could ever come up with to sort of pick at. And I think that's remarkable. I mean, sincerely, like to the bottom of my soul, she's absolutely blowing me away. It's incredibly impressive. Look at her eyes, her whole face. If you're somebody who's going to get angry at me for pausing, I'm so sorry. The link to the video is in the description. If you want to go listen to her sing it, go listen to her sing it. Definitely show her support. This is what I do, and I have to pause it because I'm about to start crying, and I don't I don't want to go there yet. That was so remarkable, and I wish I could, I could point out there was one moment that just, I know you can see it on my face when it happened. I know because a smile just exploded across my face, but she did a thing. She just did a thing. There was just a shake of the head or a crinkle of the nose or something that just, it, it just screamed at me. And I couldn't, I, I, I completely lost it at that point. I completely lost it. This was so beautiful. And look, you could, as a vocal coach, as someone just looking for things to pick at, you could pick at what, you know how strong the vocal was. You could pick at whether or not she had great chord closure, whether or not, I mean, that those notes, the, Demi Lovato is, an, is like, you can say what you want about her. Vocally, she is an absolute beast. And this song is not designed for people who can't hit that high note. Now, she's not belting it, which I think is really smart. I'm interested to see where she goes with that. But it's absolutely true. That top note is incredibly difficult. And many, many singers would struggle with it. Was she struggling with it? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a vocal person. What I heard was like a massive amount of fragility. I heard a massive amount of vulnerability in the voice. I think she's playing it remarkably well. I think for her person, for the sort of stature and the, the presence that she has, I think she's doing it exactly the way she should to get the most effect on the audience. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of giddy. I think that the approach that she's taking, maybe it's out of just an awareness of her own voice and her own limitations, uh, I know that she has some health issues that can affect her her breath control. So that's something to keep in mind when you're planning these songs out. So I don't know what variables went into making these kinds of decisions. What I do know is that light, fragile top end that she's using right now is incredibly affecting. It fits perfectly with sort of her presence, the 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 air about her, the sort of sense that that she gives off to people that this emotionally open and vulnerable young woman giving everything she has to this performance and allowing her emotions and allowing the the weight of the song to live in her body in her posture her facial expression sure but also in the muscles in her throat in the way that she's delivering the song it's so remarkable 
I'm absolutely in love with it. It nearly killed me, and I'm going to go back a little bit and listen to some of that again. That little nod, that little nod is what it was. It's so remarkable. I'm going to hear it. I'm going to go do it again. This little nod that she gives whenever she says that I hope that heaven's given you a second chance, just this little nod, this communication to the person, to the person that she's talking to, to the person the song is directed at, whoever it is that she's holding in her mind, the person, the people, whatever, when she gives that little nod, it's a, an indicator that the things that she's saying, she means them. She really means them. This is not an act. She de- she just she full on one hundred percent in her soul means the words that she's saying, and she means them with integrity, and she means them with sincerity and authenticity. And it's that little signs like that, not not choreographed, not overly rehearsed. The little moments like that that really blow me away. I know most people don't notice them, and I've been told that I get way too excited about little stuff like that, but I can't help it. I know what that is, and that is a performer surrendering to the performance and allowing herself to be completely open, completely vulnerable and raw, and allowing herself to share something with her audience that is it's an incredibly brave and courageous thing to do, and it just is absolutely remarkable. I love these little choices she's making. Go ahead, girl. Wow. You did your best, I did you. Sometimes I think I hate you. I'm sorry, died for feeling this. I can't believe I'm saying that. I know you were a trouble man. I know you never got the chance. Somebody better stand up. Somebody better stand up in that audience. That's a crime. Somebody needs to stand up.
So there you have it. That's my reaction to Emma Koch singing Father, Demi Lovato cover. One of the more difficult songs to perform in the modern era, as far as I'm concerned. And she absolutely killed that performance. She absolutely rocked that performance. It was amazing. I'm not even going to talk about the voice. It has nothing to do with it. I noticed some things for sure. Like I noticed that they, they altered the song just a bit. It's somewhere way up there. And that's probably very smart. And the last thing I would want is for her to push too hard and hurt something at, while her voice is still developing. She's 15, 16. I don't know anything about any of that. I don't know what was behind the choices. I'm not, I'm not a vocal coach. I'm not a singer. That's not my area. What I know is performance. And what I know is that that was one of the most remarkable covers of that song. No, I'm going to go further. That is the most remarkable cover of that song that I've ever heard. I don't know of anyone else. And I've heard a few singers do that song. Nobody has come close to that, in my opinion. And she's 15. I've heard fully grown, mature women sing that song and not come close. That was so very good. I would love suggestions for any other performances by Miss Coke here uh, that I could take a look at, that I could enjoy in the experience. I think she's absolutely amazing. It's remarkable that someone so young can have the awareness and the maturity and the chops performance wise <laughs> i don't know how else to say that to sit in a performance like this of a song like this and do it so well and so completely i mean just cover all the bases just fill out every facet of that performance it blows me away i talked a lot in this one guys I, i'm sorry if that bothers you it's what i do here i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found something valuable in it uh, if you didn't i understand there's the thumbs down button down there if you want to hit that you totally can let me know how you feel leave me a comment tell me just why i suck that's totally fine uh, i respect your opinion but uh, i cannot do a reaction to a song like this and just let it play through i can't first of all i would be a blubbering mess by the end of it secondly there's too much to say this was so remarkable it absolutely blew me away i'm i'm, I'm so impressed like i thought i was going to come in and really enjoy it it completely shattered all of my expectations thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy it um, do leave me uh, suggestions for any other emma coke songs in the description or i'm sorry in the comments down below let me know what else i should check out i would love to hear more from her let me know what she's doing in her career you guys let me know in the comments what what is her sort of strategy her plan young artists like hers there, there are tons of different avenues and paths toward their goals what are her goals what is she wanting to do musically creatively i just i want to know all the things i'm so interested in her as an artist i think she's absolutely amazing so give me all the details and i, I can't respond to all of them but i will read every single comment that i promise you but in the meantime once again thanks for being here like comment subscribe do all the things share this around on forums and places where there are fans of this young lady who would like to see or hear this uh, commentary uh, this analysis i would love to get some more of her fans into the channel and, and just get more input and more camaraderie between between her fandom into the comments i'd love to see more of it yeah all that being said I, i'll remind you as i always do to please be kind to each other and most importantly be kind to yourself.